Hey, the drivers are the real MPP if you've been drinking past your keys to a sober friend because fans don't let fans drive drunk. Presbyterians averaging 120 rushing yards while more hit. Bouncing over to the left side of the formation, a tight end. And Morehead State will throw it through the air. As Cravens complete, nice. and that took a gang of Presbyterian. Cravens will go under center. Don't say that too often on the ground. Stopke, he keeps those legs churning, and he's going to get past the 35, and he just needed to touch the 35, and that's a good extra effort there by And we're going to have a timeout. Jason Woodman, he is not pleased. He about sent that headset for a ride, and that's going to bring us to our first timeout here on ESPN+. Plus. As Moorhead State, and wow, Moorhead State is going to commit a false start out of a timeout that Coach Woodman was unhappy to call. 205, the red shirt junior will pass to the far sideline. Nice job getting the completion reeled in by Trevon Client, and that's why. The handoff to Stopke, trying to get around the edge. Mm. And a good tackle on the edge and excitement as he gets up. That yeah. is Harriot, excuse me. Cravens to throw it again to the far sideline. This time throws it too far in front of the intended receiver. Penalty. The only one called either way in this game. Third down, 11. Cravens complete. And a nice open field tackle. State at EKU, the EKU student section right there against the Moorhead State bench. And he was having probably more fun than the kids <laughs> were yelling at him as this one's going to take a Ugh. bounce in favor of Moorhead State. And wow, that kicked a... And they have three players with over 100 rushing yards on the season. And they will go on the ground oh. first play and a big tackle on that far. Down on the first drive for Presbyterian. Dump off pass on the near sideline is complete, and that's going to be a big run, and that is going to be Gill, and Gill's got room. 20, 10, 5. He's going to turn and back his way in. Was to run yet, but uh, they're, they're throwing the ball well to the left. But, you know, they're going to change this up here eventually. Cravens right on the goal oh. line. Has it deflected? That might be a live ball. Moorhead State falls. Nine touchdowns, two interceptions. He'll pass it out in the flat, complete Gill, and he has blockers across the 40-yard line. And that's going to be a great chunk and a first down. Jennings in the backfield with Hurst. Man goes in motion, and they will give it off. That is actually going to be Montgomery, the freshman running back. Switzer, the running back, gets the handoff and gets the first down for the Blue Hose. There was no question about that first down run by Hurst. We'll hand it off. A little hesitation there by Wright. And that's able to get him a few extra yards as he let those blockers off the right hip. Patrick fakes it. He'll keep it himself as he gets the direct snap and he loses the football. Is he short? Yeah. They're gonna say he's short. Moorhead State has football a defensive stand like that. Yeah. Four seconds left in the quarter. Cravens will keep it just to give some pressure to the offense as we head to the first quarter and what looked like for sure just a few years ago and many years back. And Cravens is going to use the third timeout for Moorhead State. And Jason Woodman has the headset off, slapping those hands. And Moorhead State not pleased. Cravens with Harris to his right. Up goes in motion, little pump fake short, will go down the far sideline, complete for the first down for the Eagles. Absolute thrown, intended receiver was Caleb Tillman. On the coverage for Presbyterian was Bradley Russ Martin. Yeah, he was in his hip pocket right there. And was Ravens and Janal, all at quarterback. Parsons got a couple reps in. Dump off pass and treadling a tackle, Moorhead State. Extra yardage near midfield. Christian Pedersen, the tight end off, following blockers, wow. cuts back across the tip of the nose of the Eagle logo down the seam. He turned that ball up 
really nicely. He was followed his blockers and turned it up. He didn't stretch it out to the to the sideline. D was an illegal formation, so Morehead State mm. lined up incorrectly. Up will go in motion oh. to the right side. Pressure coming Blitz. from Presbyterian. It's a free ball, and it's going to be in. No, it's dropped. Oh, my goodness. How was the break so far this first half? Yes, they have. Dump off pass to Stopke. He'll get it across midfield. Tiptoeing down the sideline. It's going to come down to where the spot is, and it's going to be the 46th of Blue Host territory. Now, mm -hmm. when you look on the defense, you can say, well, McC McClelland, he's got a bunch of picks. But on this offense, spreading the wealth on fourth down. Where'd he go out at? That's close. This is going to be very restaurant recommendation exactly, here right? in the area. Yeah, we've got some good restaurants here in Morehead. Cravens, he's going to be wow. walloped from behind. He never saw him coming, and that's going to be a huge, huge play. Again, keep in mind, coaches do get one challenge. You use it, and you lose the challenge. You're done for the game. You win that first challenge. You get a second, and we're going to see a keep. First time we've seen him touch the ball. In motion goes Gill, and Gill will get the little dump off into the flat. Stops, makes one man miss, but wow. not the second. On this third down and nine. Presbyterian just one of four on third down. Complete across midfield go the blue hose, and that'll be a first you see on a traveling team, but with Presbyterian in this case, they do. Nice hit by Spearman for Morehead State right in the center of that play. We wind past six minutes here in Moorhead. Herb Triplett alongside Jared Stacy with you on the play action. Mm. Hurst, he's hit. Football's loose and Moorhead State has it. Cravens in the pistol has Stopke behind him. Cravens feels the pressure and Moorhead State's going to go deep on the first play. What a defensive effort and deflection. Team with even 100 yards total offense as the quarterback Hurst keeps it. And a shoestring tackle after a solid gain on first down for Cravens. Will hand off to Lewis, who goes nowhere. Absolutely great read and great job defensively by Jacob Thornton. Wow, the Blue Hills were ready. Yeah. On the ground, Lewis. Swarm tackled near the first down marker. This will come down to a spot. By the fifth, Cravens will go under center. And it'll be a reverse coming to the near sideline with it. Moorhead State touchdown for the Eagles. And it's Nathan Garnett who runs it in. Holder Schwartz will be attempting the extra point. First points here in this one, just out of the two minute timeout as Schwartz, he's got plenty of leg. And that's. There's plenty of time left. I, I yeah. mean, yes, good point. But, man, that, that'd be a record. Let's see through the air oh. off the hands of the oh. receiver. And we saw an interception hit the chest of one of the Blue Hose defenders and hit the ground, PeckyTourism.com. And, well, just look at these beautiful hills in eastern Kentucky, and that's a, a great reason to make a visit to Kentucky as Chance Harris is going to get a few on the run, bouncing off right tackle on the first play. pin. That was, a, that was a good one, Wolfpin. That, that's a new one on me. Cravens back to pass for the first down. Wow, way overthrown. And a little push in the back there, if you will, from the Eastern Kentucky game. And he was donning the ring that day, and I don't blame him. If I had a championship ring right. that, that I earned, well, I'd be wearing it too. Complete for the first down, forward progress, but wait a minute. He backed up about a half second down. 13 to go after the false start. Hurst will go back to pass, and Hurst going to be flushed out of the pocket. A flag comes from way down the field. Caught, feet inbounds by Gill. So first and 10, that defensive hold, an automatic first down. Hurst will go down the far sideline. A lot of caught. 44, their own 44, and Hurst back to pass again. This time complete and a spinning move as he goes down near the first down marker. Beautiful job reeling it in and a beautiful, more important in a low scoring game. Under eight minutes already, third quarter. Hurst, he'll go for the home run down the sideline and incomplete. 
but a great effort as it Gill fell to his backside and almost still reeled it in. I thought he caught it. I actually thought when it hit him in the hands, I thought he had reeled Formation. Man. On the ground, breaking free inside the 10. Switzer, or Schweitzer rather, excuse me, with a carry. Usually you see a scrum breakout, but more at State, they've, they've had it easy when Presbyterians put it on the ground. Flag goes at the snap. Patterson hit at the 13. He'll stretch out to the 15, but I believe we had one. Yeah, both, both teams, the punters, are, are hitting it really well. Five yards makes it third down and more manageable. Little dump off to Harris. He's across the 20 to the 25. He'll spin down past the th And that margin had exceeded to 12 to seven on first down. So Presbyterian had something cooking there. Yeah, Play good. action. Cravens has a man that's up complete. That's from the 40 to the opposite 30 and the Eagles. That's a little extra sting when you go all the way out to San Diego that's and you right. lose in overtime. So Presbyterian already with a little bad taste in their mouth. Another play action, and it's going to be incomplete. That pass, a prettier day and a prettier view of the campus than you will today. A beautiful day, but the field goal no good by Schwartz and the Moorhead State fans. Now a little bit anxious as that pass overthrown. Oh. The waning moments of the third quarter. Hurst, he's hit. He's dropped, ball's loose, but it's recovered by Presbyterian. The officials drop their baggies. Not what I saw coming today. As Moorhead State will take over first and 10 play action. Nice dump off past Pedersen. He just oh. absolutely <laughs> waylays a man at the 30. Doesn't go much further. Anthony, a junior, Pedersen, redshirt freshman as Cravens. We'll hand it off to Stopke inside the five. Get some help from his teammates. And touchdown, Eagle. And Stopke's got some people to thank for that one, Herb. Man, his offensive line never gave up. They kept moving, moving, moving. He followed them right, right up the hall. Not the best field position and starting off the drive a little slow. Here they'll go through the air and, oh, my goodness, that would have been a heck of a play. It it's the same player, Worth Werner. Tight end from Raleigh, under 12 minutes. You'd prefer two touchdowns and not have to rely on that third drive. Going to the end zone, and it is. Oh, wow. From the 23, Hurst goes again to the near sideline. Touchdown, Blue Hose. That is reeled in beautifully, I might add. And you got to say, hey, let's take advantage of it and let's see if that mm -hmm. defense does. They go to Harris. He bounces around the end and will gain a handful on first down. Meaning they'd be punting it away to Presbyterian who feels like the momentum on their side. On the ground go the Eagles and that's gonna be a tackle for loss. Great play there defensively for the Blue Hound. Four fumbles though, three of which were lost as Hurst will go through the air on this first play and it's deflected down and a great play by Moorhead's head and neck area. A lot of time for the quarterback Hurst. He's gonna scramble and gets across Don't midfield no, and the second down and 10, Presbyterian still in their own territory. Complete. Oh, that was a nice catch. And that's going to be right. McClellan, we mentioned, almost had that interception earlier. Had three in one game, four on the season. Near the top of the ranks in interceptions per game. Play action. Seam opens up and wow. clock winding down. Keep in mind three timeouts each way and the two-minute timeout. Schweitzer bounces back right and short of the and I would be shocked if they don't go for it and they're gonna have a timeout, they being Presbyterian, to discuss it. 4.02 left fourth quarter, Moorhead State. Hurst on first down. Schweitzer ripped down by Fairman. 
It's a free trip to the ground thanks to Mother Nature a week or two ago. Hurst with Schweitzer to his left. Hurst to the near sideline, and is it Morehead State crowd all day? And well, they're gonna have a little bit longer to get loud as Coach Woodman, he'll return the favor and take a timeout himself. Earlier today, we hear the other, but it will be a huge deciding factor. Hurst, pass, complete, first down, Blue Host. No, it's picked off. It kicked up into the air and Stearman got it. Holy cow. Cravens will go under center. Cravens will give to Stopke, and no pun intended, but Stopke is stopped. And there is a flag after the play. Good snap. Warren gets a end over end punt. Fair catch is going to be taken by Presbyterian, by Gill, and Presbyterian will have 56 seconds. Morehead State offensively, 253. These teams came in evenly matched. They played evenly matched. Hurst on the keeper across the 40, tiptoeing and an awkward tumble to the ground. Nothing malicious, no flat. Hurst will take the snap. It's going to be a handoff, and it's going to be end up being a pass. Almost intercepted, a, a broken inside the red zone, but a pass from Hurst intercepted by McCall. Cravens puts the knee to the ground, and that will do it. Farios, Nicolette Hosu, Pat Johnson and Aaron Guy, graphics and replay, Jordan Adams, a red hat, KJ Long, our producer, Jordan and Aaron combined director Jordan Adams. So for Herb Triplett, I am Jared Stacey.